Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video. Today I have an interesting story for you. This story is about Swapnil, but it doesn't really matter. It might be Swapnil, it might be Jane Doe or John Doe. The amazing part or the interesting part about this story is what he has gone through in his life and finally have achieved something. Now for this story, I want you to just assume yourself as Swapnil. Try to assume what everything has happened to the Swapnil. I want you to exactly feel exactly same. It can happen to you or it might be you. So just try to put your feet in Swapnil's shoes and try to imagine all the scenario that happened to the Swapnil and finally he has achieved something, something big. Now try to imagine in this way that you are Swapnil and you have worked really hard in your college. Try to achieve an undergraduate degree. You have worked really hard. You have done all the assignments, you have done all the exams, all the practicals and everything. You have followed all the rules that universities has applied to you. He has never asked a single question about that, regardless whether it's a 75% attendance or some boring assignment that he has to just copy from a book to his notebook, it doesn't really matter. He has followed all the rules, worked every single day hard enough to get his undergraduate degree. With such a hard work, his expectation was not amazing big. He don't want to become a millionaire or he doesn't want to become the next Bill Gates. All his expectation is, I'm crazy about the code. I want to write code for some company. I want to become an Android developer. And he has fulfilled all the criteria for university to achieve his degree. His expectation is really simple. He wants to sit in the placement drive, wants to get hired as an Android developer, and that's it. He wants to write some code. He wants to make some change in the world by writing some code. Not a big expectation. He just wants to write some code and live a happy life. It's not much that he's asking for. Now he's in a situation where he has completed his undergraduate degree and is ready to move into the actual real world where he is seeking for a job. Let's just say like many thousands and thousands of us, he didn't got a placement from the college and that's completely okay because college is not a guarantee for getting a job right in the placement drive. And it's okay. A lot of us find the job on the go, going into the market, going to the Silicon Valleys of each countries. It's okay. Now try to imagine you are Sopnil and you have completed your graduate degree, but you don't have a job. Now it's the time that is passing on, one month, two month and six month. And as the time goes up, the pressure here builds up quite a lot because it's not the pressure from the family, it's not the pressure from the society, it's the pressure from your ego, it's the pressure from your dignity that says, no, I'm not going to ask any more money from my parents, I'm going to do it for my own. If I have expenses, I will maintain it. If I have bills to pay for food, for electricity, for my internet, I'll pay for them. If I need a new phone, I'm going to pay for it. This whole dignity concept is allowing you to just do something and earn some money. And obviously you look for a job, but you are not ready to ask any more help from your parents. And that's a good thing. Now just like many of you, Swapnil is making his resume and trying to go into different companies. Within a month, he has interviewed more than 20 companies so that he can just see who is ready to take him. And soon enough, he has realized that just the degree is not enough to get hired. And that's the actual situation. He has realized that just by knowing some programming concepts, it is not enough to get a job. The best part about this personality is, he's not ready to go down. He's not going to curse to his college that, hey, hey, college has not given us the placement. And he's not going to rant about it. Neither he is going to rant about his destiny that I am failed. I have failed to get a job. Instead, he is an analytic person. He analyzed why I am in this situation. And soon enough, he has realized that I just have a degree. I don't have any practical knowledge. I don't have any project with me so that I can show to the potential employees that, hey, this is my project, hire me. He just knows a few programming concepts and that's it. Now, I'm not trying to say that degrees are not good enough. They are really good. But just having a degree is not going to land you up in a job. Swapnil soon realized his mistake that, hey, this is not going to work. And I have two options, either to rant about it or just do something about it. And he is the type two. He is going to do something about it. 
So instead of just roaming around here and there and just see a big no from all the companies, he says, no, this is not going to happen to me. I'm going to start to learn. I will build up a few projects so that potential employees can see that and I'm going to get hired. He started learning Android. And finally, after this whole situation, and you have absolutely no idea how much mental pressure he has faced when you don't have money to just pay for your food bills. You have to ask again and again uh, for the money for your parents. It's, it's not easy, and especially when you have completed your undergraduation and are going and looking up for a job, again and again seeing a no. It's a big mental pressure. But in, sp in spite of all of that, he's just starting right now. And finally, he has made it to the App Store. I'm really glad that students like Sapnil do exist to inspire all of us with such a situation. He has finally made it to the App Store with the app known as Channelize. I'm not saying this is a marvelous app, this is going to be the next Snapchat or next Facebook of the app. No, it's not gonna be. But finally, he has something to show up. He has a product that he is really proud that I have done it, I have built it. Swapnil recently approached me that, hey, after watching a lot of your videos on YouTube, and especially the version one and version two videos, finally, here's my version one of my app. And I really want to say that, hey, congratulations, you have made it to the app store. Swapnil told me all about his stories and everything and finally he asked me one good question. Am I ready to take all of the jobs now? And my answer was no, we are not ready yet. Although his app is really beautiful and something amazing that he should be proud of, but this is not just enough. Your app should be a little bit more complex, should use a little bit more features like audios, videos, camera or at least a sign up feature. And this is the most basic for any company to hire you. And the best part you know about the Swapnil is, he understands the situation. He has taken all of my advice and says, yes, you are correct and I'm not going to be approaching more companies in the next coming up months. Instead, I'll be focusing on learning more. I will be designing more apps and will show you so that you can tell me when I'm ready to take all of those companies. And in fact, you don't need to approach me anymore. Whenever your apps are going to be ready, you will know that automatically that, hey, now I'm ready to take down any Android app that is being asked by the client and I can make that. See the important part here is, first of all, make some projects. Your college degree is good, but it's not good enough to land you up in a job. So focus a lot of on the projects. Be, be clear in your mind what you really want to do. Whether you want to become an Android developer, iOS developer, web developer or maybe something else. Just try to clear that up first of all in your mind. Second point, never be afraid of version 1. Version 1 is going to be the ugliest thing you have ever seen or you have ever created. But without version 1, it's not going to be version 2. A lot of people make amazing apps and they these all apps just sits down in their hardware, in their hard disk. I really don't want you to be that guy. I want to just go out, don't listen to the world, push your app to the app store. You will face a lot of problems, but go ahead, do that. A lot of you might be studying in the colleges and you might be facing the same situation as he has does. Now he was a very strong minded person who has taken down all of such a huge pressure but I really doubt a lot of you might be able to take that down or not. So all I'm saying to all of you is college is just there. So keep it there and manage a little bit more time to understand the things and learning the things in a project manner approach. I have built up a lot of courses to help you out at learncodeonline.in. Take down these courses. If you're not interested in them, look out for other resources. There are hundreds of other websites that you might be looking up for. Now, I'm not saying that, hey, only buy from learncodeonline.in. There are hundreds of other resources. Your goal should be number one. Create a lot of projects so that you can show the potential people that, hey, I have done a lot of work. Why don't you hire me? and all those people who are standing in the queue with just their resumes and nothing else, you will be standing out because you have worked on some real projects. While they were busy just scoring the 95% in their universities, you have got at least five apps in the App Store and that's matter the most because end of the day, when you will be hired in a company, the companies are going to give you some task and that only can be done by an actual programmer, not by someone who is just mugging up the books. 
I'm not saying books are bad or university syllabus is bad. It's there, it's needed. But alongside with that, you also need to do something extra. Your age doesn't matter. Your situation doesn't matter. Let me know in the comment section below how many of you are going to get started right now or how many of you have already got started to make something, to create a project. Notify me in the comment section. I'll be surely looking up for that. In case you don't know about the complete Android developer course, Build 10 Apps, I'll leave down the link in the below section which you can check out. Feel free to have a look on some of the free preview videos. If you like it, join it. And also, I will link down below the app of LearnCodeOnline.in which I have recently rolled out to help you guys download the app and check out the courses. Some of, There are free courses in there as well. Check them out and start learning now. One last thing, if you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you do hit the subscribe button right now and I'll surely catch you up in the next video.